Welcome to Crema Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, recycle like there's no tomorrow, big screen at Oppenheimer event urges attendees, and $860 million Ilmanite beneficiation project enters bulk earthworks phase at Richards Bay IDZ. Recycle like there's no tomorrow, with urging words flashed across the large screen at the 13th Oppenheimer Research Conference, where longtime former diamond mining luminary Nikki Oppenheimer declared that it is nature that is calling the shots when it comes to climate change mitigation prospects. What is more important, that we as homo sapiens resolve climate change, or that we resolve the relationship between man and nature. It's more important that we resolve the relationship between man and nature. Because if we can do that, climate change will not exist. We have to find a way to cohabit, to work together, and to listen to each other. You have to know that nature is what's calling the shots. The bulk earthworks phase of the Nyanza light metals part to advance imelnite up the value curve as titanium dioxide pigment has begun at the Richards Bay Industrial Development Zone in KwaZulu-Natal. What, what has been the challenge is obviously the barriers of entry are capex. You'll see that uh, the price take to, to build a significant plant of this nature is quite steep. We've made uh, huge progress uh, over the last 18 years, particularly the last two years. We completed all the bankable feasibility studies. We also commissioned what we call a product testing development center, which basically helps us with, uh, you know, producing samples that the customers really needed to be able to evaluate what kind of product we produce. So now the phase we're going into, which is construction of the main plant, uh, technically started in August uh, this year. Uh, we, we building that titanium plant, we split it into two phases. We had to do a mini equity close where we had to find uh, sources of funding to start with the construction or the bulk earthworks. Uh, pr primarily looking at site leveling, doing um, uh, clearing, uh, doing the, geot the detailed geotext because we've got the loads now. Uh, and that uh, has been uh, what we started in August. That should run until August or Q2 next year and at that point the site will be deemed ready for, for, for the EPC contractor to now take and build the plant going upwards. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.